Thanks for joining us for the ABCs of Safety. I'm Matt with SCT. After handling ladders in our previous entry, today we tackle another of OSHA's top 10 most cited violations that can cause some of the most serious workplace injuries, including amputations or even death. M is for machine guarding. For fiscal year 2017, machine guarding was the eighth most cited OSHA violation nationwide. The purpose of machine guarding is to protect employees from hazards created by ingoing nip points, rotating parts, reciprocating motions, shearing, or flying chips. In general, these guards must not create potential hazards and, if possible, must be attached to the machine. The two basic ways to properly protect employees are guards and devices. Guards, including fixed, interlocked, adjustable, and self-adjusting, are physical barriers that prevent access to dangerous areas. Devices, like optical, radio frequency, pullback, restraint, or two-hand controls, prevent a worker from entering a dangerous area or stop the machine if such an area is accessed. A machine is not considered guarded if a worker can reach around, over, under, or through a guard. If a guard fails in any of those directions, the machine is not guarded and workers can be hurt. But as each machine is different and comes with its own set of unique hazards, each machine needs its own specific set of machine guards. Unfortunately, there isn't an easy one-size-fits-all solution. All machines, though, do consist of three fundamental parts that need to be considered when complying with the machine guarding standard. The point of operation is where work is performed on material, such as cutting, shaping, or boring. The power transmission device is all of the parts of the mechanical system that transmit energy to the part of the machine performing the work. These include flywheels, pulleys, belts, chains, and gears. The operating controls, which can be electrical or mechanical, must be on every machine and make it possible for the operator to cut off the power without leaving their position at the point of operation. Thanks for learning about machine guarding with us, and now we're halfway through the ABCs of safety. What's next for the letter N? Watch our next video to find out.